Yeah. Got me in this party all up in a zone. Hottest Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't. Hey guys, it's me, Neil Dixon, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, as you can't already tell, I'm doing the vlog. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. For the rest of my Christmas break, and so for today, I'm going to Atlantic Mall. I'm gonna just show y'all, like, where I'm going. I'm just switching where I'm going, but I'm gonna show y'all, like, what I'm doing, and just talk to y'all for today. So, if you wanna watch that, then stay tuned and watch the video. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey vlog, so this is what I'm wearing. I got this shirt from 521. These black jeans from Gap. And then my shoes are gonna be like old school checkerboard pants that you've seen me wear before. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> Then I just left Forever 21 like right now. And I'm still shopping y'all. So but I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything I got. By that I don't think it was gonna be a separate video on this video, but as you guys know, I'm going to bands now. Hey vlog, I'm kinda sad right now. So there's these Uggs that I've been wanting ever since freshman year they came out. And so I I have like the money to get them now, right? And so I just went to the Ugg store. And like that that store is freaking packed in there. And like I was looking for somebody to help me, but nobody was available because they were all helping some other people. So I'm really upset. But I think I'm gonna get me another pair of shoes that I want to. So I'll just you guys know. I think I'm about to go to Foot Locker somewhere because I want a new pair of shoes. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Hey vlog. I've made the decision to go to Urban because they have some really good clothes there. So that's why I know when I'm there. I'm about to be there in like a couple of seconds, but it doesn't matter. So, see you on the next clip. We just came by the Lennox. Hi. Coolest dad on the planet. Chicken in. Sorry, yeah. your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are so punished. But yeah, we're about to go to the uh, car now. So, the I'll let you guys know what we're doing we're once Mexican we head to the car. Guys. Yeah, we're going to get some Mexican food. And I have not had it since last time I was here, which was like. July. You gotta tell everybody what you bought. <coughs> I'm gonna where you at? I'm gonna do it once we get back to the house. Okay. And so, yeah, I'll see you guys with my food to make y'all jealous. So yeah, see you on the next clip. Hey vlog, I just got my food and it looks so good. So good. Have over the bed of rice with. Oh, you want to put meat on rice? Maybe. Hey, vlog. Okay, I just got back home from um, eating out Mexican food. It was really good, by the way. And so now I'm here with all my dad's friends, and they just want, they're just talking, and I just thought I should have it on camera. So yeah, y'all continue. So we was discussing. The K, the K jewelry ring that was $24.99. Hey, so from my perspective as a man, as a hard working man, if that's all you can do, then hey, let's start at $25.99. Let's not put a price tag on my love for you and my ability to want to lock you down finger wise for the rest of your life. 
if I only make minimum wage, then twenty five ninety nine works. We're gonna get for the man's opinion first. Okay, so my opinion on this is if a man by woman twenty four ninety nine dollar uh dollar range. Like twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents. Twenty four dollars twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents, twenty five dollar yeah. range. On a range on a jeweler, yeah. That and man, engagement ring. That man is not financially ready to be married. I disagree. All right. I do that. Twenty-five dollars. You can go as much as two hundred, maybe three hundred or something. Twenty-five. Come on, man. That's that's middle school. Okay. That's middle school. So that's middle school. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'm gonna Hold on. So my thoughts are, as a couple, if you're engaged and you're about to be married, you need to prepare for your financial future. So that's the first thing that you guys need to sit down and plan for financially. And you guys need to discuss your budgets and how much money you make and how much you can afford on stuff like that. Okay. So if all you can afford is a twenty five ninety nine dollars ring, then that's fine. You shouldn't tell nobody. Well, y'all eating in the soup kitchen. But right even if you can afford a twenty thousand dollar ring, once again, you shouldn't tell anybody that. But if your ring is twenty five dollars, that means your monthly income is fifty dollars. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me, right. let me, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you are ready, if a man, if you're ready to get engaged to a woman, that means you've had unprotected sex with a woman. Oh, Which we, means, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which means that you have foregone a nine dollar bag of pack of mags. Oh my god! So let's get this, yeah. Let me get this straight. That is that is a good. Point. I can buy a twenty four ninety nine ring plus tax. plus tax. I don't know, but you won't accept it. Calls. However. <laughs> However, we can forego this $8.99. That brings up the point. What if she pops up pregnant? And you couldn't afford a, you know, $500, $2,000 ring. How can you afford an 18-year commitment with a baby? So how can you afford a lifelong commitment with a blessed $25 either? If I may speak. Yes. Okay. Okay, so... First thing is, if you can't afford a ring, it's already established in the beginning. Your girl knows you, she sees how you move, she see where you live, she see what you do. So she knows you don't have money to buy her a grand ring. So the expectation is going to be lower than someone like me who Love someone like you, and we have been in a relationship for she, almost she's laying it years. out there. She is letting it be known. Oh. 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 He has a good job. Oh, maybe so cheap, maybe. <laughs> so, would I like for the ring that he purchases be something that he looks at and says, "This is what mm. I value." In my wife, mm. and this is what I'm willing to so give her to show her how much I love. So I believe that that piggybacks on what I said. That's something that the couple need to sit down and discuss. First of all, you have to discuss it because what if he pays ten thousand dollars and it's ugly? Well, my thing is this: if you only pay twenty five dollars for a ring, why why get the stones and everything else? Let's just get a regular band. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody, K Jewelers is marketing to the people that are that don't have bands, enough money. Five. And they're marketing saying, hey, we got these leftover diamonds. Anybody can afford it. You can afford Beyonce's ring for $25. Especially if we're dealing with a woman that wears like red bottoms and designer purses. She's going to have to have a ring. No, nah, I'm not going to have no $25 ring. Well, like it's a is. ring for every budget. Oh, yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah. And if you stick to your budget, your girl knows you. If you faking, fronting out here, her expectation is, oh my God, I need something that's going to weigh my hand down to the ground. But he don't have a career, boo. So talk about it. Discuss your finances. If you're upfront and honest, then the guy won't go into debt paying for this ring. Paying for a ring that he can't afford. The $25 ring is for the girls that's hustling at McDonald's and the guy that is working two or three jobs and he wants to give him girl some, his girl something that looks nice. That's not for the Navy chief. The motherfuckers at McDonald's that spend more than $25. No, the kids be cussing on bad ass kids. I know, right? Motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't think a $25 ring suit any fucking money. That's just my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. 
I don't think it's a no, human being. Was ugly. Yeah, I don't no, think it's. Was ugly. I don't think you know what a twenty five dollar engagement ring look like. A motherfucker in sixth grade. Yeah, that's one of them promise ring yeah. saying, "Girl, I'm going to summer camp, and here you go. I'm about to, I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? See, see you the first day of school. I, I don't think that that that, that suits anybody. You know, that's doing you know a man and woman thing. The ring was ugly. It ain't. The what price. if you're a boot camp and you want to propose to your high school sweetheart? They still, still do better. Go to Harris, baby. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and rent that. Go oh, ahead. you know they marketing yeah. the yeah. middle of the mall jewelers are marketing in Great Lakes for those guys right yeah. now graduating. All you got to do is pay a hundred dollars a paycheck mm -hmm. for twelve years. For the rest of your life. <laughs> hundred dollars for the rest of your career. <laughs> That's it, a hundred dollars. So in conclusion, talk about it. That talk way you know it. what your girl want, and she know what you can afford, so she's gonna know what to expect. In conclusion, K Jury is freaking genius for this marketing scheme. Got everybody, everybody in America talking about, talking about it. it, so everybody can go to K Jury now. And I don't even think they got twenty five dollars. In conclusion, she don't want that shit, Terry. You better, <laughs> you better get her what the fuck she wants. In conclusion, she can get what the fuck I want to kill. Oh, oh. 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 Okay. Show out for this. Take it to the bank, man. Take it to the bank, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> so I guess that brings us to the end of discussion. I'll update you guys in a second if anything else happens. So, yeah, bye. Hey vlog. So this is much much later. I'm actually back in Virginia now. The reason this vlog wasn't uploaded that early or because I was just with my dad. I was really enjoying him and I was trying to like make sure the moment would last. Like just living in the moment and like just trying to spend as much time as I could with him because like I won't see him again until like <laughs> next week. But still, it was really fun. Georgia was really fun. I, it was really fun. I wish I could go back, but I have school up here. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked this vlog. This day was really fun. I actually, those Uggs that I said I wasn't going to get, I went back later and I got them. So, please wait for a haul to be coming soon. I'm just getting back. I just want to settle back into things and YouTube as well. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. And if you do like it, like on this video, comment on this video, and share this video with all your friends so we can build a bigger and better family. Also, subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications to be notified whenever I post. I'll see you guys next Saturday with a new video. <laughs> Bye. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday.